Hello guys and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Before it starts, I just wanted to thank those who have been tuning in. I know my videos are not as amazing as those from other content creators, but I will surely get there with time. Nevertheless, let's get into it. Now there are many tips that I like to share with people, but there's none that I like to emphasize as much as using grenades. Make sure you always have at least one grenade. I prefer arc stars. But everyone has their own preference. Just make sure you have one grenade because it could get you out of a sticky scenario. There's one outside. Nice. So in this footage, I saved Bloodhound from a Bloodhound. But now I need to heal up. And this idiot. Instead of running out the door and closing the door behind him, runs right to me, crouches on me, and gets us both killed. This is something you want to avoid. With all honesty, I could have stopped healing and started shooting, but I was expecting Bloodhound to be more aware of his teammates. If Rampart puts down walls and you don't know how to get her out, if you have an arc star, you could arc it behind her on the wall, Forcing her to move. It is useful to think like the enemy team. This enemy team thinks that Pathfinder is alone. So instead of revealing myself, I'm gonna camp out in the storm and wait for them to make the push so that I can surprise them. That is one. That's two. I threw some arc stars on Pathfinder to prevent him from being eliminated by the Loba. This in turn made Loba focus me. But she lost the fight. Occasionally I come across really weird players. Like the octane level of annoying. And they're not even octanes. In this example, it will be a caustic. This is something you do not want to do in a team game. And if you think he was done, just hold on a second. Stop it. Get some help. Shield cell here. Shield cell here. This is again something I see way too much of. In this case, we are already in the ring. There are two more enemy teams, and we are not in danger. So to me, it makes no sense to get on the trident, which is why I try to avoid them. For one, the entire lobby can hear this piece of machine. We do not need to run to the ring because we are already inside of it. And we do not need to make quick getaways because nobody knows where we are. That is, until these fools get on. So note, only use tridents if you need to escape or get to the ring and it closes faster than you move. Now an enemy team is already prepared to target the trident. They can hear it approaching and begin to shoot at it together. This results in Octane dying right away, who then decides to rage quit, leaving Bloodhound and I to face the remaining six players. We are now in a sticky situation. There's a team behind us with snipers, they also have high ground, and there's one player from the other team somewhere ahead of us. Bloodhound has the passive to stalk that one player, which is what we're gonna try to do. Ring. 
Left alone at Dye Creek. Recharging my shields. We're kind of pinned down, but I'll try to use my smoke to give us some room to move around. Stock up on meds and ammo. And then we make our move. This was not an ideal situation. The enemy team had high ground. They were a full squad, meaning they had all their teammates. We were missing teammates and because they're a bigger squad they also have more ammo and more meds so even if we start picking on one of them they can constantly heal and not just that they could also revive their teammates so i tried telling bloodhound we should move away from here and try to find a position forcing them down from there or try to get up to their level we were debating whether we should take the jump tower or go behind them there's a little passage that lets us go up top they stopped shooting at us, so we thought they're making their move and they're trying to push us. So we try to push up them, but from a different side. Okay. There's a jump tower over there. It's a good thing we did not take that zip line as they were waiting for us to come up there. Instead we took the zip line or the jump tower and we tried to go behind them. We are still in the circle. That almost hit me. Then the fight starts. When Bloodhound downed someone we knew we could make a push. Now it's a 2v2. Horizon just wasted her ult in, in the middle of nowhere. And so we're gonna try to push them and take advantage of the one man down. I am trying to position myself so I can use the ult. So that was a little risky on my behalf. It seems like the enemy team was able to revive the player that Bloodhound killed earlier. Fortunately, my ult was able to solve that problem. Given that they have two players down, they have only one more left. So it's a 2v1. Horizon is trying to get away. I get blinded by the sun. She's somewhere down there. But we managed to pull it off. 